everyone, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Today we're going to do another two ingredient dough Pop-Tart variation. So today we're gonna to bring you chocolate Pop-Tarts. And if you are excited just hearing that, trust me, wait till you try them. I've already taste tested them. We've tried them a couple of times. They are absolutely fabulous. I just did not have a chance to film it. So today we're gonna to film it and get it started. Today I thought what we'd do is we would um, pull out my mixer and see if that makes it go a little quicker um, because there's nothing better than having sweet treats in your hands a lot quicker. So I'm going to try not to chit chat a whole lot today and just jump right in and get the recipe started. So I'm using my wheat flour today so I'm going to use a half cup of the gold metal whole wheat flour. and. This is not self-rising, so we're gonna add some baking powder to this one today. Now, I'm not exactly sure how much baking powder we need, but I'm gonna use just shy of a teaspoon. Maybe it's too much, maybe it's not. We're just gonna check it out and see. The next thing we need is a half cup of the fat-free Greek yogurt. I don't know why I couldn't get that out. Grab a spoon here real quick. And we're going to pull a half cup of this out. I'm gonna give that a quick stir. I did use this earlier today. All right, so I'm gonna measure out a half cup of that. And as usual, if you've followed along with my two ingredient dough recipes, you know I always use just shy of a half cup because of the fact that if you use equal amounts, the dough is gonna be too wet, you're gonna end up having to use more flour, and then you have to figure out how to adjust the points. So we're not gonna do that today. All right, so I have that in there. The next thing we're gonna add in is this. This is our secret ingredient. Swiss Miss Reduced Calorie Hot Cocoa Mix. So this is the one that's 35 calories. So we're just gonna use one packet of that. I'm telling you, this is so good. I'm gonna bring my mixer up here a little bit. Is that a little bit better? So we can watch it. There we go, I think that's a little better. All right, so we're just gonna dump our packet of hot cocoa mix in there. Hot cocoa smells so good. All right, so we're just gonna turn that on and let it start to incorporate. And we'll stop it periodically and just push everything down. Like I said, I'm hoping this is a little quicker. We'll see, today will be the test. I sped it up, that seemed to work a little bit better. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out now that it's kind of a, a doughy mixture. And then I'll continue to work the rest of it by hand. If we figure out we need a little bit more, a little more Greek yogurt or a little more water, we can always add something in. So I'm just gonna roll out my pastry mat. I'm telling you, I'm so glad I bought this thing. And I think, I honestly think that, that did come together quicker. Just giving it a quick little, little mix to make sure that it's good. I'll reposition the camera here in just a second and then we'll get started on pulling this together. find it easier to push it to get that last little bit together. All right, so we've got our dough. I'm gonna throw a little bit of flour out on our mat just to keep it from steaming. Okay, there we go. I'm 
going to grab my handy dandy rolling pin, put a little bit of flour on that, and we're going to start to roll this out. I think it's good. I think we can roll it out from here. Just going to flatten it out to make it a little easier. And we're going to try to keep it as rectangular as we can. My goal is to get three Pop-Tarts out of here. And the less manipulation I have to do, the better. And again, you want to roll this out flat because it will rise in the air fryer. All right, I think I can make that work. We're starting to stick a little bit here, so we'll give that a break. We'll push this little piece back together. And I think we're good. All right, so we're just gonna grab a knife and we're gonna cut this into three pieces. So that's one. Maybe we'll just do, I don't know, maybe we can get, I think we're gonna get four out of this. What do you think? I think that looks pretty good. All right, so we've got that done. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some chocolate syrup. Now with this chocolate syrup, I'm gonna to have to scan it to remember, but I think it's two tablespoons for three points. I think it's the measurement. If I'm wrong, I will put it here to show you. So we're gonna squeeze some of this out into our, this stuff always gets so thick. All right. That should be about two tablespoons once it settles, or one tablespoon once it settles down. So we're gonna grab that, grab half of it and spread it on one. All right, that looks pretty good. We're just doing half here because we're gonna fold it over and then we're gonna pinch the edges. All right, so those are the first two. The second two ready. If there's a trick to doing this, let me know because I always had the hardest time trying to get this stuff to come out. But I don't know if I showed you this, the front of it. But it's the sugar-free Smucker's Sunday caramel. Actually, that just the chocolate syrup. I have a caramel one as well. All right, so we're gonna put over here. And trust me, this is enough chocolate. You wouldn't think it would be, but it's perfect. It's just the perfect amount. I think that looks good. It's gonna melt a little bit and spread around inside there anyway, so I think we're okay there. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a fork. We're gonna fold this over. And this little bit here that's seeping out the edges is going to seep out in the air fryer, just so you know. I tried to not get it too close to the edge, but I failed a little bit. All right, we're just gonna Put that one over there and fold that one this way. See if I can patch up the side. Oh, maybe I can fold it over a little bit. All right, so the next step is to pinch the edges. So you just grab your fork. Sometimes you have to drag it in the flour. I'll try to those up so it doesn't leak out too bad. How does that look? Look pretty good. All right, we're gonna get the next one done. All 
All right, so we're going to continue on around this one. You can tell it's getting noisy out there. The grandchildren have arrived. I was trying to get these done before they got here so I could surprise them with them. Right, we're going to flip this one up a little bit just to kind of seal that edge a little bit more. All right, All right there we go. All right, I'm gonna take a break here. I'm gonna go over to my air fryer and then I'll bring you over and show you on that side. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get these into my air fryer. And I am using my new Olmark air fryer that I just got, super excited about that. So I'm just gonna place these right into the basket. Hopefully you can get a good shot of that. Here we go. Alright, so we're going to cook these at about 390 degrees. So we're going to hit the button here, we're going to hit the temperature. We're gonna bring that up to 390 degrees. We're gonna take this down to about seven minutes and we're gonna hit start. So as soon as that gets done, we'll check them to make sure they are done. This is the first time I've attempted it with the wheat flour, but I think they're gonna turn out just great. Now, the only other thing that we have to do is we have to take the confectioner sugar, powdered sugar, confectioner sugar, whatever you wanna call it, we're gonna take an eighth of a cup of that and mix that with just a little bit of water and mix up and we're gonna make up a, a frosting. That's what it's called, frosting. So we're gonna mix up a frosting to put on top of these. And in that frosting, you can either use it as plain frosting, just the plain white frosting, or if you want, you can mix in a little bit of cocoa powder and you could make it chocolate frosting. So today I think we're just gonna use the plain frosting and see how that goes. So again, stay tuned. We'll see you back in a few minutes. Okay, we have about two minutes left. I just wanna take a peek, so I thought I would bring you along with me. Ooh, see, that was more than enough chocolate. It's already seeping out. So we're gonna pop it back in, let them finish cooking. And then we'll throw our air fryer straight into some hot water so that can start soaking. I'm sure that'll clean up really nice. It cleaned up really nice last time. Okay, so what I thought we would do now is while we're waiting for that to finish, we'd go ahead and mix up our frosting. I have a one quarter cup measuring cup here because I cannot for the life of me find my eighth. So we're just going to try to eyeball an eighth of a cup here. Looks about like half, so we're just going to pop that in there. And then we're going to start to pour just a tad bit of water in here. You want to be very careful because it does not take much. And I think I put way too much in there, but we'll see. And you notice I just put a drizzle of water in there. Okay, looks like it might be okay. It's going to be a little more watery than I'd like. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to add some more, and then I just will only use half of what I have here. All right, so let's add some more in there. And again, we just won't use all of that. And you have to add when you're watching, when you're putting the powdered sugar back in, because sometimes you can add too much, and then it's a vicious cycle. Then you're like, more water, more powder, sugar, more water. Yeah, you get it. All right, that looks a little better. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get some tongs and we'll pull our Pop-Tarts out. Are you excited? So let's go ahead and pull our Pop-Tarts out. All right, so it might be easier just to kind of pull them up, put them on the plate. They smell phenomenal. All right, we're just gonna put this right into the sink. And get some water going in that. 
better to be safe than sorry, right? All right, so check those out. I'm gonna bring you in. And they actually are bigger than what they look like. always hard to get a good angle. I'm just gonna move you. Hold on, I'll come back. Okay, how's that? That's a little better, right? So they're perfectly done. They're nice and soft. They're almost like a pastry. They just, I'm telling you, they are so good. So we're gonna wait a few minutes. We're gonna let those cool off and then I will drizzle them with our frosting. And then if you wanna get super fun with them again, just like the fruit pop tarts, you can go ahead and drizzle those or actually, you know, throw some sprinkles on those as well. So I will put some pictures in here at the end, and then I will invite the grandchildren in here to try them again, which secretly they've already tried every variation that I've made. So, all right, I'm gonna sign off from here. Thanks for watching. I hope again that you give these a try because they are so good. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you wanna get notified of upcoming videos. And also share. If you are on groups, on Weight Watcher groups, or you know healthy eating groups, or if you just wanna share this on your actual page, share this video and get your friends to come along with you on your healthy eating journey. I know, Pop-Tarts, you wouldn't think healthy eating, right? Oh, almost forgot. I'm sure I'll put it in the title, but four smart points per Pop-Tart if you have three. I'm gonna say if you're making four, it's gonna be three smart points. So these are gonna be three smart point, nice little, I'm, I'll be honest with you, I'm gonna eat them for dessert. I doubt, I'm, I mean, I highly doubt I'll ever eat them for breakfast, but yum. All right, signing off for real. See you next time, bye. Okay, quick little recap just to let you know. Um, definitely prefer them with the normal white flour. So I wouldn't do them with the wheat flour. The wheat flour is perfect for bagels. Not so much for the Pop-Tarts. So they were still good, but I much, much prefer them with the white, just the normal white self-rising flour. So again, please let me know if you give these a try and we'll see you next time. Bye.